The King of the Inhumans has been imprisoned. But where? Why has he been jailed? And who could be powerful enough to hold the uncanny Black Bolt? The answers will shock you, and Black Agar Boltagon as well. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This time we're continuing the Inhumans hype train that I've proclaimed, I don't know why, but I finally read Black Bolt Volume 1 from Saladin Ahmed and with, as the back cover says, mind-bending art from Christian Ward. This was... To me, one of the most underrated titles of 2017, one of the best titles of 2017, an examination of a character that has long been misunderstood. People don't really get the character of Black Bolt. They're like, okay, he's powerful, he's a king, but he's mute, he can't talk, because his power, his sonic voice is so powerful, as many writers have pointed out, just the slightest whisper can knock out a destroy a mountain if you will imagine what a full force scream would do and in this book it runs alongside the royals stuff so uh you do get an explanation as to why he has been imprisoned and it's actually pretty clever uh it has to do with the royals book so you might want to read that uh, but if not, do not worry about it. It is mostly standalone, and you get ex an examination of this character, his trials and tribulations growing up, of course, being raised, if you don't know, Black Agar being the heir to the throne. He was uh, raised in a vitro tube, uh, stasis chamber, if you will. Uh, his mom, uh, her Terragenesis ability, allowed her to filter poisons, and she basically... Uh, fed uh, the baby embryo uh, the terogenesis stuff from uh, her womb so Black Bolt was exposed to such immense power changing mysticism since he was uh, a, a, an infant and then when he they discovered his vocal talent if you will he was isolated and he had to learn to keep quiet and not whisper and not say anything it's really interesting and I wish more writers would explore the in the Inhuman uh, origins and uh, their earlier years because it's actually pretty fascinating. So the character is locked up and he's trying to escape this prison and basically you get this prison drama with uh, Marvel superheroes. You do see several uh, alien species and some human supervillains as well as uh, the king of the Inhumans. Now with the character Black Bolt you're like hey but uh, he doesn't speak. How can you do a comic book with a mute character? That's where comic books are best at. You've got narration and of course there are several twists which, spoilers, do allow the character to say a few things. And uh, yeah man, it's just really fun and really interesting. Uh, Saladin is an award-winning author. He really knows his stuff and how to um, pull apart characters and examine their origins and what makes them what they are you know what i think i like most about the book is the fact that ahmed is able to bring these characters that are independent to each other and sort of create this dirty dozen feel to it i don't know i thought it was pretty fun seeing all these unlikely prisoners come together and face uh face the music you know the villain of the book could be a little bit better you know it, it kind of sort of reminded me of something uh bioware would have made with the mass effect franchise something like that i just thought it was a pretty fun overall experience having all these characters grouping up and the team dynamic that forms and this friendship this strange friendship between strangers them trying to survive this cosmic prison at some point this book is really touching there are some really honest scenes there's the character, uh, there's a supervillain, Absorbing Man, he's in this, and you get a look back at his life, and it's the most heartwarming, beautiful, and weird things I've read in a comic book recently, that I was just floored by it. I thought it was amazing. 
The art, like I've mentioned, it's mind warping, but in reality it's really damn good. And uh, it's just fantastic. One of the best books, in my opinion, from the Marvel imprint of 2017. If you want to check it out, I do highly recommend it. The story kind of resolves itself, but you get a cool cliffhanger waiting for Volume 2, which as of this video hasn't come out yet. So, uh, what do you guys think? Do you like the character of Black Bolt? What would you like to see in a future uh, solo Inhumans book? Because we have seen Karnak get a miniseries, and now we have Black Bolt. I want to see uh, Crystal get her own solo book or maybe a solo Medusa or something. I don't know. I love these characters so much and hopefully you do too. Let me know down below. I am very interested in finding out. Guys, as always, you can like and comment and subscribe to We Can Geek Them if you like this sort of content and book reviews and all that stuff. Thank you. As always, follow me on your favorite social media platform and I will catch all of you on our next video.